Let me show you two ways that you can use to disable your caps lock key. The first way will be somewhat technical, but at least it doesn't have you downloading any extra programs. If we want to disable our caps lock key or really any key on our keyboard, we need to go and edit a registry value. To do that, you can hit your Windows key and then type in registry. From there, you'll get the registry editor. Make sure you hit enter. Now, once we have the registry editor pulled up, we need to go to a certain folder. That particular key exists in hkey underscore local underscore machine then go to system, then go to current control set, then go to control, and then finally go to keyboard layout. Now inside of here, we need to right click and go to new and then select a binary value. Now we should give it a name of scan code map. Once you give it the name of scan code space map, you can hit enter. Now right click on the value that we just created and click on modify binary data. From here, this is where we're typing in the binary to set the caps lock key to something else. In our case, we wanna just set it to nothing, but this would also be where you could set it to anything else. Like I could make the caps lock key be my escape key or be the A key. Really, you can set it to anything on your keyboard. Now, the way that Windows works, it actually has separate codes for each individual key on your keyboard. We can't just type in caps lock and then set it equal to something. Instead, we have to use the scan codes that are provided by Windows. Now, there's no real great place to find these scan codes, but I did find this website that's linked in the description that does show all of the scan codes of a standard keyboard. So we can use this to designate which key we need. Need. We can see over here on the left, we have the caps lock button and it has a scan code of 3A. So if we go back to our registry editor, we need to enter that scan code into here and set it equal to 00, zero which is nothing. Now this will be a structured map. So the first portion of it is actually a header portion where we don't need any information. So like I said, this is a header, so we don't need any information in this. So we'll just put zeros in for the first eight bytes. Each set of these two numbers is considered a byte. The next set of bytes will be the number of keys that we're remapping plus one. So if we're only remapping one key, in this case, the caps lock button, then we would put zero two and then followed by three sets of zeros. Now we can add the key that we're mapping. The first two bytes will be what we're mapping to and the last two bytes are the key that we're remapping. So since we don't want it to do anything, we put two zeros in for the first two bytes and then we put three A and then zero zero for the last two bytes. Now we're not quite done. We actually need to end this whole string with a null terminated character, which is just four bytes of zeros. Now, once we're done, we can hit OK, and then we can close out of the registry editor, and then we can restart our computer, and when we hit caps lock, nothing will happen. Now, doing all of that registry editor nonsense is a little bit difficult to do, especially when you are trying to find the scan codes and you're also having to format it properly. Instead, what we can do is we can have a third party tool allow us to change keys on our keyboard. The one that I use is called Auto Hotkey, and all you have to do is download it, go through the setup installer to install it on your system, and then creating a script is very simple. You can go to autohotkey.com to download the software. Once you have it installed, you can go to your desktop or or any folder and then right click and then go to new and under new you should have auto hotkey script. Now it creates a new file and we need to name it. I'm going to name it disable keys so that I know that this particular script is going to disable all of the keys that I want disabled. Now we need to edit this file so that we can put the logic in to disable the caps lock key. To do that we can right click go to open with and then you can choose another app Inside of here, we could select the Notepad app, which is installed on every Windows machine, and then we hit just once. Now you may notice we already have some text in here, and this is just some boilerplate that is created when we create that file. What we wanna do is just add stuff underneath it. So go ahead and hit enter once just to give you space between all of that stuff at the top and what we're going to write for our caps lock. So to disable the caps lock key, we need to have caps lock typed out just like this with the C and the L capitalized. And then we need to have two colons and then we say return. What this is saying is it's going to take in that key code and then it will automatically return. It won't do anything. Once we've done this, we can hit control S to save and then close out of this file. And then we can double click on the icon on the desktop or the folder that you're in, and it will automatically run that script. Now, when you hit the caps lock button, nothing should happen. Notice how this is way easier to do than adding that registry value and trying to figure all of that out. Now to prevent you from having to run this script every single time you restart your computer or start up your computer, 
you can actually add this to the startup menu. What you do is you hit Windows and R together and then type in shell colon startup, just like this in the bottom left, and then hit enter. It should open up a folder on your file system. You'll see some shortcuts in there. What we wanna do is we wanna right click on this file and then create a shortcut from it. So we'll go to show more options and then scroll down and there should be an option to create a shortcut. Now we can just take that shortcut, hit control X or just drag this over into the startup folder. And now every time that you restart or start up your computer, this script will be ran for you and you don't have to run it yourself. So those are two ways that you can use to disable any key on your keyboard inside of Windows 11.